What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. All right guys, real quick, I just want to mention the EX move tier list is out for PvE. I apologize guys, I completely forgot about Dante. The reason why I forgot about him because I don't have him and because he was a limited collab, the EX move has now gone away, just like the uh, Gore Magala Ken one. So I will work with somebody that I know who has that move specific, Dante specific move maxed out, and then we will put together a tier list package for you guys for PvP. Uh, the bosses and I will update the PvE one with that one as well so you guys have the full list of EX moves that are out. Now this topic here is going to be a little bit of sensitive one. Okay guys, I want to get a little personal with you guys. Um, <clears throat> so as you guys know, if, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, I've been a fairly big advocate about not spending, right? I've been saying not spend, do not spend if you don't have the means, especially because it's an addiction and I'm trying to help people beat their addiction. But I want to talk about my own addiction. This is going to be something personal to me. The reason why I want to bring this up is... Today marks the day that I actually recouped back all the money that I spent on Street Fighter Duel. That's right, from YouTube alone, I was able to, in three months, recoup $13,000. I've worked my ass off to provide you guys content out there that no one else is providing or content out there that is either engaging and i've been working my ass off to make sure that you guys feel like this is a family rather than just a channel that wants to get out money or, or make money on it. Uh, and, and forgets about the community itself. Now, I hope I've made it pretty known in the last three months that I've been back on YouTube that I am all about the community, but at the same time, it feels great to know that as much as I'm giving, the community has given back to me. So I wanna thank you guys. Uh, if you guys don't know the history here, um, I've spent $13,000 on this game like an absolute idiot. I was not spending money on games at all for a whole year. I was curbing this addiction, I thought. And then Street Fighter Duel came out and then my competitive stupid side uh, started showing itself again, rearing its ugly head, I should say. Um, and it caused me to make laps of judgment in about two weeks. In two weeks, I was able to spend that amount of money uh, being 13K just to make sure that I was a top player on the server, not knowing anything about the game uh, or what free-to-play was about or how easy it was to you know progress as a free-to-play player as you guys can see right now I'm progressing as we talk right uh, so this is again just real quick as I'm talking about this you guys are aware this is my complete free-to-play account and as usual we don't do the whole um, mercenary thing I've never used a mercenary once since I've done this so you guys can see here empty so I want to say uh, thank you thank you so much guys for helping me, um, number one, recoup the funds that I put into this game. And number two, I will be honest with you guys, Street Fighter Duel has changed my life for the better. And it's going to sound really odd coming off that way because you can, how, like, how, how pain, why would this game have changed your life? Well, I can tell you now from being able to have this free-to-play journey, I have proven to myself something I have always doubted, that you cannot enjoy the game without spending money, which has been a complete mind fuck for me because I've convinced myself in every gotcha game that I used to play in the past, and I've not spent on any game, guys, we're talking about for the last three and a half months. And to me, that's a pat on the back for somebody, if you don't know, has an addiction for gambling in gotcha games. Um, so I'm very proud of myself, and I'm proud of a lot of you who have also taken this initiative to beat the gambling bug and to enjoy the game for what it is, literally a game. So I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about that. Um, so first off, thank you for the views, the community, the constant back and forth in communication, whether it be on Discord or if it's on actual uh, the comment section, which has been fantastic. And for you guys to have hold me at such a high regard as a content creator for this game, um, I love this community very much. And I can honestly say if it wasn't for getting back into content creating and knowing you guys, I may have been down this dark path even further. And this is the honest truth, right? I realized that after I realized that after playing this game and getting to know a lot of you through through my guild or through the comment section or just through through YouTube in general or Discord, I have made it a pact to lead by example through my words and it has helped me stay on the righteous path uh i was able to buy myself a brand new car today uh brand new completely wasn't thinking i was gonna ever deal with that because i had to deal with the stupid debt that i was putting myself in in, in right and i didn't think i was gonna be able to recover for quite some time but 
in three months thanks to YouTube and you guys I was able to get the 13k back now and now I'm back on track now the question a lot of you are probably gonna ask well what does that say pain now are you going to continue are you gonna go back to spending at all no so my goal guys is not to spend anymore my goal is to make sure that the the example I'm setting stays the example going forward this is my standard now and i hope to set the same standard for you guys now i'm not saying that spenders are evil and they shouldn't spend like games won't survive without spenders clearly right but let's be real i do make good money in real life but i have two kids and a wife and a family that i need to take care of and my money should not be going towards a character or a pixel who's going to advance me my, my money should be going towards my kids education getting them new shoes new clothes paying for vacations for things that will build memories that we will forever remember rather than a name in a game that once shuts down nobody will ever care about anymore right so it's 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 like today when i opened up the youtube spending or the so the youtube app the the google sense which is where we get paid it it was like a sense of relief and joy to see that <clears throat> i am no longer am in debt to this game okay so i have to thank this game as well for being um for giving me the opportunity obviously to make my money back even though you know i gave it a lot of money it's myself and supported it it's nice to know the game has semi supported me back here with the ability to make content for it now i will say i don't know if i would be here to be honest with you in this position if i didn't make my video about my 13k account that opened up a lot of people's eyes and it kind of spread like wildfire because people are like, holy crap, this idiot spent that much money. And I even called myself stupid in that video for doing that, right? So it's it's very important to note that I was very calculated when I came back about this. I wanted people to know how stupid I was. And the fact that, quite honestly, I wanted to be completely open and transparent about my stupidity. I didn't want people to feel like this whale here is just showing off and it's about like a big whale account and he was you know he's gonna talk about everywhere he is and what he does and how good he is blah 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 because he spent money that was never the purpose of my account the purpose of my account was to come in here and to show you guys the downfalls and the pitfalls of being a whale in gotcha games and it, and it worked and it really really worked and i'm and i'm glad because i felt a momentum and, a, and something in my heart that I hadn't felt before. And that is for the first time ever, I really cared about not just the content I was putting out, but the impact it had on people, right? So again, thank you guys so much. I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you for, help, for helping me recover from an addiction, most importantly. Number two, thank you for helping me recover the money I put into this game. And I really do hope, guys, you we can have the symbiotic, synchronized relationship that we have now with the community where the content I put out is valuable. It does give you a sense. It gives me a, a sense of purpose and it gives you a sense of guidance. And we continue to grow as viewers and content creator and as players, more importantly, in this game or any other game we decide to do together on this journey that is content creating. So I just want to say again, guys, thank you so much for this. Um, it feels great. Street Fighter 6 coming up in the next half hour. I'm going to be doing a live stream on that. Uh, so if you feel like joining 1030 Eastern Time, feel free to join there. But again, I just want to say thank you again uh, for everything you guys do and the support you guys always give. Happy Father's Day to all my dads. Happy Father's Day to your fathers. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your um, Friday night. I'll catch you guys in 30 minutes. And if I don't, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. This is Payne. I'll see you then.